Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Follow Up Friday. Every Friday, I come on live at 10 a.m. Pacific, and I share a tip about sales and follow-up that you can implement right away that week to grow your business and to create more consistent sales results. So the problem I see out there is that entrepreneurs either freeze up when they're asked what they do when they're out networking, or they host people down with too much information. So has this ever happened to you where you're at a networking event and you ask somebody what they do and they go on and on and on, right? We've all had that happen, right? And it's so annoying and it's really a turnoff. It happened to me once years ago. I was at a three-day event. I asked this guy and five minutes later, he was still talking. And I was just like so turned off. I wanted to get the heck out of there. So if you've been struggling to share what you do, um, you're in for a treat today because I'm going to be sharing with you three tips on what you can do to make your what do you do statement or response really compelling and that actually has people leaning in wanting to know more about what you do. So please feel free to share this video. This is going on YouTube and LinkedIn and Facebook. So wherever you're seeing it, please share it with uh, anyone you know who's an entrepreneur who's been struggling to grow their business and to create consistent sales results. If you're watching this as the re on a replay, please comment down below with your takeaways, your insights, your, your ahas, or any questions that you have, and I'll come back in later and check and respond, okay? And if you're new to this page, I'm Debbie Hoffman. I'm a sales and follow-up expert. And I work very closely with heart-centered coaches, consultants, network marketers, all sorts of entrepreneurs who are leaving potential clients and income on the table because they don't have a reliable sales and follow-up system in place. And I support you to create a step-by-step -step process so you know what to do and what to say at every step of the way so you'll have more ideal clients saying yes to working with you right that's what we want more ideal clients working with us okay nothing is more fun than to work with an ideal client who we love to hang out with right all right so again the, the problem that most entrepreneurs have is that they're sharing too much information when people ask what they do so the first step, and the problem is that most people just wing it. That's the mistake most entrepreneurs make. They just show up at the event, and whatever comes out, comes out. Whatever comes through them, they share, and it's different all the time. So there's no consistency, and it's not very impactful. So the first step is take some time and prepare in advance what you're going to say. Like practice it. Write it down. Keep tweaking it. It's a work in progress. It's going to take a while. But practice it. Stand up in front of the mirror, smile, and practice it. And then when you feel really good with it, ask a colleague or a friend or a neighbor, anyone who you trust, who you feel comfortable around, to practice it with them and ask, you know, are you was that clear? You know, were you leaning in? Do you want to know more? Like, what do you think? Right? Ask for feedback. Okay, so practicing is really, really important. So in terms of creating exactly what you're going to say, I have a whole template for this that I share with my clients, but I'm going to share with you the, the major points in this template. And that is you want to share the problem that you that people come to you with. What is the struggle? What is the problem? What is the thing that people are complaining about when they, when they talk to you, when they seek out help from you? So just share the problem first. <clears throat> and then share the solution that you offer, the results that people get working with you. The mistake that entrepreneurs make is, and I'm sure you've all heard this, when people share what they do, they share the process that they take people through, right? So when someone just shared this analogy the other day, it was brilliant. So if you're going on a trip and you're describing, let's say you want to invite somebody to come to the trip with on this vacation with you, you're not going to share about how you're going to get on this United flight and then book the rental car and blah, 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 right? You're going to talk about this beautiful beach in Hawaii and the benefits that they're going to have being there, right? So you want to share the results people have, not the process. And also, you don't need to share the name of your company. 
especially if the name of your company is your name. Like how many times have you heard people say, you know, I'm Debbie Hoffman with Debbie Hoffman Incorporated. Like who cares, right? So only share the name of your company if it provides value to the listener. So for example, in my case, the name of my company is Power Up Your Follow-Up. So I'll say I'm Debbie Hoffman with Power Up Your Follow-Up because they know right away what I do, not everything that I do, but they get a sense. Oh, follow up. Oh, I suck at follow up. I need to listen to what she has to say. All right. So that's the second thing. Second tip is focus on the problem that you solve and the solution that you offer and make it really, really short. Okay. You want it to be a couple of sentences. You don't want to keep going on and on and on. You want to pause after you share and see if they're leaning in. And if they say, tell me more, or how do you do that, right? Then you'll know they're interested and then you share a little bit more information, right? Just a little bit. Again, you could get so tempted to go on and on and on, but it's really an initial conversation to see if they're interested in what they have to offer for yourself or if they have a friend or someone they can refer to you, okay? Um, so first step was make it short prepare in advance, and, um, and then uh, practice it, okay? So pre prepare in advance what you're going to say, write it out, practice it, and then fo focus on the problem and solution and get feedback from people. So that's the last thing. Go online and, on any Facebook groups that you're in or any groups that you participate in and say, hey, what do you think about this? Get feedback. And when you share it in person or online at a networking event, see if people are leaning in and keep tweaking it. I've had you know clients in my mastery program, my Power Up Your Sales program, they work on it for weeks and weeks and you keep going out there, practicing it, coming back and uh, tweaking it, right? It's not gonna happen overnight. It is one of the most difficult things to do to take everything that you offer in your business and condense it into two sentences. It's very challenging. But, and actually, I'm gonna add another tip here. Once you create the what do you do state response, you can use it everywhere. I use it in my bio, I have it on my LinkedIn profile, I have it on my Facebook about section. Like you'll use it everywhere. When you're speaking and someone's reading your bio, it can be built right in there. When you call someone, Maybe it's a cold call. You can share it right there. Super quick, short and sweet. And people will know right away who you support and how you serve them. Okay? So I hope that was helpful. Um, so a great place to practice sharing what you do is networking. And I host a networking event every month where I bring heart-centered entrepreneurs together from all over the world to collaborate, network, support each other. People are having such an amazing time there. They love the quality of the people who are showing up. Everyone's really showing up in service. There's so much heart shared there. And people are getting speaking gigs. They're getting on podcasts. They're partnering up, creating programs together. They're referring clients to each other. They're becoming each other's clients. So it's been like a love fest. And I have very exciting news. Starting in March, you can attend these events for free. I'm not charging anymore. If you want to be a vendor, it's $35. We have a vendor expo from 9.30 to 10 Pacific. And then 10 to 11.30, you're networking. Actually, 10 to 11, you're networking. And then 11 to 11.25, we have a speaker. And this month's speaker in March is Barbara Ames. She's a client attraction expert. And she's going to be talking about how to fill your program course or calendar with ideal clients, okay? So we meet from 9.30 to 12. There's a vendor expo 9.30 to 10, and then another vendor expo after the event from 11.30 to 12. So you can come to all of it or part of it, and you'll just meet some amazing people, and it's free, okay? My next event is March 16th, and you can go to poweruppyourfollowup.com forward slash networking and invite some friends to come with you. I mean, everybody can come for free. It's pretty cool, huh? I'm very excited about that. So I'll see you next week on March 4th, same time, 10 a.m. And you can join, I go live. I'm not doing this today, but every week I'll be going live on this social media platform called Be Connected. And you can ask me questions there. You can chat and ask questions. 
and receive laser coaching support from me. So you can engage with other entrepreneurs there, find power partners to collaborate with, and you have your own virtual stage. So every single day of the week, if you wanna do a show and uh, speak about whatever topic you want and invite people to come. So it's a really great platform. I will have that link uh, put down below so you can join. All right, everybody, I will see you next week on Follow-Up Friday. Have a fabulous weekend. Bye for now.